Well, good day, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're on March 27th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we take a look at space weather and extreme weather from around the world, as well as earthquakes and disaster alerts. And we always start out looking at the sun. 304 angstroms right now, looking at plasma filaments. Large ones here erecting. The northwestern limb. No sunspots on the sun. Coronal hole that was earth facing is dissipating. You can see that it was trying to build. Dissipated here in the last few hours. Looking here at our heliosphere, seeing the effects of plasma filament rips. Kind of looks like something's affecting the northwestern limb of the sun most of the time. Very interesting indeed. Thank you, Solar Dynamics Observatory, for all of these beautiful images and compiled animated images. Let's get to earthquakes here, the last 24 hours. Uh, that looks like a very busy 24 hour map, and believe it or not, it is. Pretty sure it is. Here, I'm just gonna double check here. 12 hours. Yep. Yeah, so we've got some we've got some movement going on around the world. And yesterday we had the strange 5.0 earthquake in Texas. Largest earthquake last 24 hours was the 6.1, which I reported yesterday. Philippines. Indonesia rocking a 5.8 today. Early this morning. As well as 5.6 going off. Another 2.7 reported today in Mentone, Texas. So kind of a swarm happening there in Texas now. That's very interesting indeed. Most likely fracking and drilling. Looking here, Central America. Latest year, 4.3 Guatemala. South America. 4.6 in Chile, and as well a 4.7 West Chile rise. South Sandwich Islands with a 5.3 late last night. And then today, early today, a 5.3 in Iran. In the, what's that? Safid? Safid, Iran. 5.3. And yesterday, in yesterday's video, I had noted to watch that region for seismicity. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes. A lot of deep earthquakes recently. Mariana's Trench moving up into Japan and Russia. And North American Plate has become somewhat of a quiet zone again. Up into the Cascades. So stay aware, prepare my friends and family. Morning Dew is here for you. Checking out here most the latest volcanic alerts. Mer Mount Merapi went off la late last night as one of my most favorite volcanoes. As well, Sabancaya in Peru just updated. Raventador, Dacono, Asosan, Popo, Sangay. And that's pretty much it over the last three hours for vol volcanic activity. And again, I tried to do this uh, a few days ago, uh, the volcanic activity report, while well, something else has popped up now. And so please stay tuned. The volcanic activity report will be coming soon. There's just a lot to be following right now. So across the United States, still watching flooding conditions continue as moisture just keeps streaming in from this Pacific low. And that low is finally gonna make it through and bring some extreme weather across central United States and up into the northeastern United States throughout the week. As well, Nova Scotia and Newfoundland receiving somewhat of a blizzard 
overnight as the deep low, quick moving low in the Atlantic scooted across Nova Scotia and Newfoundland. Watching thunderstorm conditions across Greece as the Mediterranean low gets locked in the basin. And we'll see how long it uh, spins around there for a bit. And same with this deep lower level low over Pakistan. India. It's going to be bringing some severe weather activity as well. Straight up into the Mongolian mountains. Deep lower level troughs. We've been talking about it for the last three years. Creating atmospheric rivers on our planet. And stronger more ferocious low pressure systems due to our compressed and collapsed magnetosphere. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Media Earth, Media Mike, overlooking home base, Calgary, Alberta, as we have winter coming back quite quickly actually. Uh, by the end of the weekend, temperatures will be in the minus double digits and we'll be receiving at least five to 10 centimeters of snow if not more, there is quite a storm that is going to be building here. The upper northwest United States and British Columbia. Watch as a, another small winter storm scoots across Manitoba into Ontario. And then the extreme weather that I was talking about moving into central United States and northeastern United States later in the week, as well as Ontario. So watch for a Quite a mixed bag of precipitation as this strong upper level arctic vortex comes to hang around for the first couple of weeks of spring in canada overlooking europe strong high pressure ridge inbound and hanging around over central europe and united kingdom dry conditions cooler temperatures will be moving in later in the week as well though and across Eastern Europe, watch for extreme weather event as this deep low pressure system winter storm heads across uh, Sweden and into Russia, Norway will be receiving a lot of snow with that storm. And it's interesting, it kind of antipode to the same storm that we're getting here in North America. I'm watching here in the five day forecast. This is very interesting how the Northern Hemisphere is playing out right now. Five day forecast showing continual rain and snow across higher elevations, pa Pakistan into Mongolia. Warmer temperatures moving in. Cooler temperatures for Thailand. Yesterday, I, I want to apologize, I made a mistake. I was talking about the fires in Thailand, not China, and I had said China. So again, I apologize to all my subscribers and everybody that was watching. Mistakes happen, you know. Across Australia, watch for a tropical depression to form across the Northern Territory in the late forecast, five days. And three days from now, watch a storm to scoot across Tasmania and the Southeastern tip of Australia and then up into Sydney. And then that storm's gonna quickly scoot to the Antarctic. Across Africa, daily evaporation rains. Not much to, not many extreme weather events to talk about across Africa. Just your regular daily evaporation rains. But South America, you're going to be seeing some intense daily evaporation rain in the long range forecast, especially west coast towards Peru, throughout Colombia, Bogota, and then watch for extreme weather along the eastern side of Chile. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like button and let me know where you're at. 
Let me know how your weather is in the comment section. Much love to you all. I hope you're all staying safe, aware, and prepared, and positive. God bless you all. God bless humanity during these times. Again, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.